Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. No theme park stuff today, so if you're looking for parks, you can tune out already. Um, it is already 10 after 6 at night. I literally just finished working um, and have been working um, for the last 11 hours. There's some days that I feel like, you know, you really feel productive. And there's days that you feel like the day has gotten away from you or you really just had the life sucked out of you at work. How did you guys' day go? You have a good day at work? Good day at school? It's been long this week. It feels like this has been like 10 weeks altogether. And I think that's related to the fact that um, we were off, or I was off at least the last week um, of the year, and in the first week of the year doing the Disney runs. Um, and then we had that three-day weekend, um, and now it, it really feels like this is the longest week of all time. And I say that now I just pull up the calendar and holy cow, I only did work two days this week. It feels like five days. Um, having off on Mondays, whenever you have a gift, like, whenever you get off for like a three day weekend or a four day weekend, doesn't it always feel like, you know, you're always like a day or two ahead. You can never remember what day it is during the week. And I hate that. I am wearing my Star Wars 5K shirt from last year as a reminder that I wanted to talk to you guys because I think some of the questions that we get more often than not um, consistently now are, are we doing this? Are we doing that? Um, as far as the run, because we just did the um, marathon weekend at Disney, we are not doing the Star Wars run this year. Um, and that comes up the Dark Side Challenge week is in April. We're not doing those sets of races as a result of Star Wars Celebration taking place the week before. I think it's very difficult, like April, we're hitting into a month where there's so much stuff going on um, that um, you had to kind of pick and choose at some point about what you wanted to be able to do because it requires taking time off. I um, mean, the Disney races for sure require people taking time off because they take place generally like the 5K or the 10K on like the Thursday and Friday. Um, and you have to get factor in package pick or packet pickup rather and things like that. So we are doing the following. We're all going to WrestleMania at the Citrus Bowl um, or Camping World Stadium or whatever it's called these days. That is April 2nd. I am not going to the other events leading up to or after the WrestleMania event at this point. So when folks keep asking if we're going to go to the Hall of Fame, if we're going to NXT, are you going to Raw, are you going to SmackDown? The answer is no for any of the above. Um, I'm lucky that I'm going to WrestleMania at this point because of the price point for the tickets. Um, and quite honestly, the, the product's not all that fantastic lately. So um, I think, you know, we're going for the sake of going because it's WrestleMania. We are going to Star Wars Celebration. That is at the convention center. We will be at Star Wars Celebration every day of the event. So it runs from Thursday through Sunday, um, and that's April 13th to the 16th. We'll be there every day. I don't know where we'll be every day. Um, if anyone has not gone to Star Wars Celebration before, the schedules for Celebration are literally like all over the place. I say literally a lot. It's, it, it's the wrong way to say literally. I'm just stuck saying it, so bear with me. But um, the events are all over the place. They oftentimes overlap, so you want to see an exhibit. There's also a panel. There's some kind of character meet and greet or, or actor meet and greet. And these things all tend to happen at the same time when the schedules are released, and they probably get released um, in about another month or so. You've got to start sitting down and planning out when exactly are you going to go to each of these things. And then actually... Um, a lot time in between of each event, you know, maybe like an hour or two in between each thing to wait online because the lines are huge. Four day tickets for celebration sold out. Single day tickets are left. Um, if you plan on going all four days, I would advise buying one of those single day ticket packets. You know, like you, you literally, like, there's literally again, you have to buy it. Um, a, a ticket for every day, um, which tends to be a little bit more money. Um, than the four-day ticket. The reason why four-day tickets sold out, I know everyone um, on the, the interwebs exploded and said, I'm sure that they'll bring more back. I don't think so. Um, I think they had um, a certain quantity of four-day tickets that they wanted to sell. They sold out much quicker than they have in the past because they've had two brand new movies since the last time the Star Wars celebration took place in the States. It's taking place in Orlando, which is a vacation capital of the world, so the, the crowds are going to be gigantic. 
um, and they cap how many four day tickets they're going to sell. They'll cap how many single day tickets they're going to sell as well. And I would anticipate that those, at least for Saturday um, and probably Sunday, but most, you know, Saturday is usually the first day that goes and like Friday, but those days will probably sell out, give or take like another month or so from now as well. And I believe that the event's going to be kind of in line with um, what we expect Comic-Con to be every year out in San Diego, where there's just that much of a demand and people scrambling for tickets when it goes on sale. So in any event, we'll be at Star Wars Celebration. Welcome to Rockville is coming up on the 29th and 30th of the month. That takes place in Jacksonville. So for the last three years, we've done videos. We brought a lot of viewers into the channel because of the videos that we've done at um, Welcome to Rockville and folks you know, have come to different sets or different shows with us for bands that are playing at the event. We have tickets for Welcome to Rockville at this point. Whether we go or not is another story um, because we have some um, confliction. We have some confliction. We have some um, events that are conflicting with those dates at this point. So um, we may go, uh, or some of us may go to Welcome to Rockville, or none of us may go. But the plan is, as of right now, that we are going. So if things change, I'll let you guys know. Um, but we do plan on going. And by the way, Welcome to Rockville, if you are interested in that show, um, at least as of two days ago, the tickets were on sale on Groupon. I think it was like 65 bucks for two days worth of like, you know, 50 plus bands. So that's a heck of a deal. And finally, of the things that I know that we are going to, we are going to Playlist Live in Orlando. Playlist Live in Orlando takes place May 5th through the 7th. So we will be there every day of the Playlist Live event. Um, we're not doing like a panel at Playlist Live or anything else. We're going as guests just like anybody else would be going as guests. Um, but we will be there um, for the duration of the event. And for those that don't know what Playlist Live is, it's basically like a convention for YouTubers. So um, they get a lot of uh, various popular YouTubers to um, go to the event. They have meet and greets, different panels, things like that. Um, different little like parties and stuff. Um, and it's it's a fun event. Things I am not doing, once again, we're not doing a Star Wars run. Um, the Pro Bowl is coming up in Orlando at the end of the month. We're not going to the Pro Bowl. As it is right now, um, we have tickets for one of the Pro Bowl practices, and I'm not sure that we're going to go to that either. Um, but um, if we don't go to that, we would be going to um, a parade slash festival in Tampa called Gasparilla. That's something that we've looked at for years and going, and we just never have um, kind of pulled the trigger on that. But that's what we're looking at potentially doing. And Gasparilla is taking place not this weekend, but the following weekend in Tampa. So that's what's going on. Look who has arrived. Yay. Not from Publix, although wearing like a Publix type of polo shirt. <laughs> no. Also, Bill Shatner over your shoulders. It's like the trilogy of cool people. Zach, Harrison Ford, Bill Shatner. And you, of course. And me. Doo, 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 doo. I need allergy medicine. You do. I thought we had some. Your tech. <laughs> We're going to go to Target. We're going to get allergy medicine, cold medicine, Tylenol, Coldies, Zycam, uh, Dayquil. We're going to take it all. We're going to get it all. I'm going to sign my life away for medicine. Buck stuff is on clearance. I guess it doesn't help when you get caught doing drugs. Shark fist. Chocolate that tastes like beer instead of beer that tastes like chocolate. Just what everybody doesn't want. It's the same Star Wars stuff every year. We got this tin like five years ago. And those. And that. We need this pillow. It's got a dust star. Plus we need this quilt and these sheets. There's a teepee in your target. Isn't that what everybody wants? I'm all fit anyway. It's perfect. You can have roommates and just set up teepees in the house. But they're so tiny. 
We bought Star Wars sheets. Yes. <laughs> There's a uh, backstory to this. Mary wouldn't let me buy like jet sheets for the longest time. Even when we lived in New York, she wouldn't let me buy jet sheets. Because yeah. he wanted here. to paint the the whole room like green and whatever, and I was like, no. And then when we moved, I said, let's get Buccaneer stuff. And, and he wanted to paint the room. I said the room red could be like pewter. red and pewter, and no. that would look cool. I also said I wanted the living room that color. No. No. So we settled on Star Wars sheets. Yeah, I have no problem with Star Wars sheets. Yay! <laughs> and now we're going back to one of my favorite places, Polio Tropical. We still don't have any sponsorship from them, but if you're listening, Polio, shoot us a note. Look, Mary's just going to sit out there while I wait in the car. <laughs> just make her wait uncomfortably. Oh, get back here. Here it is. Chicken breasts, salad, rice and beans, plantains, yucca, more chicken. More chicken. <laughs> that food was amazing. Even though it's just still grilled chicken, which I think we've had for dinner every day recently. Grilled chicken. I had it for dinner, I had it for lunch, and I had it for dinner again today. A lot of excitement in the Cheap Seats household. <laughs> Grilled chicken. Yes. It's good though. Let's make a pit stop at Toys R Us. Very much looking forward to this movie. God, I've been looking for this Brody figure everywhere. Somehow it sounds like the guy who does the IHOP commercials. Also, coming soon, Silent Bob. Why would they have Jay without Silent Bob? That Toys R Us is the worst. Mm. Got nothing. Yeah. We're back home. I got this package in the regular mail today. Um, something that I had ordered from Amazon. It's coming all the way from Japan. I'm anxious to open it and show you guys what we got. tissue paper. We got these two little guys. They're gonna be not in focus. Let's see. There you go. It's a little Stone Trooper and oh, it's funny. Stone Trooper focuses but not Vader. There you go. Darth Vader. And they're kind of like an old matchbox car size boxes. Um, these are from Takara Tomy and I first saw them um, Paul from IOM Geek Ideology and Madness um, was over in California at a store that had a ton of Shogun Warrior um, figures and um, I saw these in a uh, background shot of something he had posted online so I went online and looked and ordered them and they're actually from Disney if you can see on the box I'm sorry about the sniffles there we go and now let's open these little boxes up and see what we've got. So we got a Stone Trooper. And here he comes. In plastic. It's got tape on it. I see. He was sealed on the bottom. He is legit a... Uh, he feels like he's die cast metal. His helmet feels plastic. Um, Stone Trooper. It's about, I'd say probably about two inches tall. Check that out. Let's see. That's pretty awesome. Now, we'll open Vader. See how he looks. Oh, he's got like a lightsaber in here. I wonder, oh, the Stone Trooper had a gun too. So, we can't lose the packaging. I'm not ready to put them on display yet, but I will. Um, and this is Vader. Again, he feels a little bit more plastic. His legs feel like they're made out of metal. His arms and head feel like they're plastic. But here we go. Let's get this to focus. Ta-da! So we've got Vader. I've got a Stone Trooper all the way from Japan, took roughly a month and a half or so to get here. 
through Amazon. So, very cool. I love, like, knockoff toys from Star Wars. Um, stuff from overseas that you can't get here. Um, I like little, like, knick-knack or things that are just unique. Um, that, you know, they're not generic. You find them everywhere in the store type of things. Going to Star Wars Celebration is one of those awesome things because they always have collector panels with all kinds of uh, goodness like these types of things. So, um, very, very cool. I like these a lot. I actually like the box. I'll probably display them in front of the box. But that's all I've got for today. So, on that note, we're going to say goodbye. Thank you for all of your likes. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys. Thank <laughs> you.